Hi everybody, Malcolm here, and this is a video to help people understand how to broadcast a YouTube video live using Zoom. I'm recording this on Friday morning, the 27th of March, to help the family group leaders and the location leaders of the Thames Valley Churches of Christ in particular, because tonight, Friday, we have our first, our first Friday class in this new online church era. And so one of the things you might like to do is find that YouTube video, um, queue it up ahead of time, have it ready. And there are a couple of ways in which you can use it. First of all, you can, as I'm going to demonstrate, watch the YouTube video through Zoom with everybody else in your location or your family group. And the, the advantage of doing that is everybody's doing it together. Then afterwards, you can have a discussion uh, about it, either in chat or through live conversation. If you have significant bandwidth problems, what you might want to do is ask everybody to watch it at a certain time, say eight o'clock, and then say at 8.30, we'll have a Zoom conversation together about it. It's neither one is better than the other, I suspect. It's nice to be able to watch it together, but it depends again on any bandwidth issues that you or your, your, uh, your other fellow family group members might have. So just think about that. But if you do decide you want to do it together, let me show you how and do practice this. This has taken me, I think this is my seventh attempt to get this right. Uh, so it, it, it is, it's not tricky. It's just one of those things as a setting and another setting and you need to have it set up right. So I think I've got it right this time. So here we are. I'm on my Zoom call. You are on your Zoom call, Zoom call with all of your family group members or whoever. And you're going to say, let's everybody watch this YouTube video and then we'll have a chat afterwards about it. What are you going to do? You're going to go to share screen, this green button down here, share screen. The screen I want to share is my browser. I've got the video queued up there. And you also want to make sure that share computer sound is clicked because you want the sound to come out of your computer and go through your microphone. And for me, in this particular case, as I move this to the side, here's my microphone here. So I want the sound to come out of the display and for everybody to be able to hear it from this microphone. There might be other ways to do that. And if you, if you know, let me know, but that's where I'm going with it. So that's it there and there. I'm going to click share. And now what you're seeing is what your fellow members on the call are going to see. They're sharing this screen. So I've got this video queued up. First of all, I'm going to make it full screen. Let's do that first. You don't have to, but uh, that's what I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to hit play. You need a Facebook Live or to YouTube. Okay, now here's Sean. I like Sean. So He's got some great stuff. Uh, this particular video is about cameras for li online live broadcasting. So you might want to watch this. But there he is. He's chatting away. You can hear him. All right. And I'm going to pause him. I'm going to get out of that. And then I'm going to, let's say the video has ended. I'm going to stop sharing. Comes back to your good self. And then you can have a discussion either in chat or uh, uh, live over the audio. So that's how that works. I hope you find this helpful and experiment a bit tonight. If you don't get it all quite right, that's okay. We all understand we're learning a lot of things very rapidly and I'm sure we're all giving each other uh, a lot of grace with that. If you have any questions, do give me a shout. Um, if you can't get hold of me, then Google it. I, this is all. This is the way I've learned all this stuff is just give it a Google or Marlon seems to be the expert as well. I'm not sure he'll want a hundred WhatsApp messages from us all. But if you're really stuck, certainly I'm, I, w I hope, Marlon, you don't mind me volunteering you to help. Uh, but you can certainly get hold of me or try to get hold of me. Hope that's useful. Let me know. And if you've got any questions about the best way to use Zoom, give me a call. Take care. God bless.